Hi Steve, I'm Hannah. I'm working as an intern this summer for Altria. I was really excited to get named to this territory as I know college towns have great selling potential. I can tell by looking at the numbers in the stores in your area. I know that as a business owner, your main goal is to create these higher profit margins to get people into your store and to put money into your own pocket. Although I was looking at the numbers and I saw that you've been increasing the prices of cigarettes from $5.50 to $7.50. Could you kind of help me understand your reasoning behind that? Okay, I see your intentions there. In theory, that's a great idea to get more money for the product that people are going to buy no matter what. Sounds really good. The only issue is that people can buy cigarettes anywhere. There's a gas station on every corner and they're all selling cigarettes. People are going to look for the lowest price. If you're not charging it, they're going to go across the street and get cheaper ones. I think that we could really help each other here. Right now, you're missing an opportunity since you're not needing the same sales as the stores around you. We have a case allowance opportunity where if you're matching those sales, you'll be able to earn a 10% case allowance. This is going to save you a lot of money. Plus, another thing, cigarettes account for are the number one seller in convenience stores. They account for 27% of sales, but that means that 73 cents is going to other products. You're losing a lot of profit when you raise your prices on cigarettes, that's gonna deter people from your store. People aren't gonna be coming in anymore and picking up the bag of chips, the Coke, the pack of beer with their cigarettes. You're not only losing your cigarette sales, I'm afraid that this strategy isn't going to work for you in the long run. People are going to see your high prices and going to be deterred to the store across the street. Frankly, that's just how it is with the cigarettes since you can buy them so easily. Have you ever thought about bundle deals? Does your store do those? Great! Have you ever put cigarettes in them before? I'm thinking maybe we can create a bundle deal with cigarettes, chips, and a Coke. Maybe it would be $10, or if you can buy a 12-pack of beer, you can get $2 off that if you buy a pack of cigarettes with it. What do you think about these ideas?